proven that sanctions will not only fail to solve problems, only result in a situation of double or multiple economic losses, but will also interfere with the process of political settlement. That state boosts this Chinese system to bypass Western sanctions. Brazil, Venezuela and Syria are some of the other players who are either backing Russia or staying neutral. What about India? Reports say New Delhi is mulling alternative ways to send payments to Moscow. Remember, India is one of the biggest buyers of Russian arms, so it still needs a way to deal with Russian banks. But Western sanctions are not the only thing that Russia must deal with. The invasion of Ukraine is hurting Russia in more ways than one. Russian media is suffering losses. Facebook, Twitter and YouTube have sanctioned Russian outlets. They won't be able to make money off their content. Global football body FIFA has virtually banned Russia. Now, no international football matches will be played in Russia. Russia's flag and national anthem won't feature during games. Fans will be barred from attending matches of the Russian team and Russian footballers will only be allowed to compete on neutral territory. To rub salt on these wounds, football teams of the Czech Republic, Poland and Sweden have refused to play with the Russian side.